In America, those of us in arcades dropped coins into Life Force, the 1986 Gradius spin-off shooter by Konami. Though I have to admit, the slightly reworked Nintendo Entertainment System version is the one I'm most familiar with. Can we say 30 lives Konami code? <laughs> Well, in 1991, the PC Engine received a variation as well, known by its original Japanese arcade title, Salamander. Ah, that awesome Konami logo. Life Force was a huge part of my home console gaming, and the memories just flooded back as I started up this game. In Salamander, you control the Vic Viper through six stages, alternating between horizontal shooter and vertical shooter. Obviously, we're talking about a traditional shoot-em-up here, with enemies to blast, end bosses to defeat, and power-ups to collect. The one thing about Salamander though, it can be pretty rough. The 30 lives trick on the NES gave us a crutch so we could just blast through the game and not be too tense. In this one, nope. You actually have to be good at the game. Damn. Right off the bat, Salamander hits you with options and weapons. Little capsules are left floating about after defeating enemies just waiting for you to grab. They add on missiles, speed, force fields, multiples, and different types of lasers. And they continue to stack up until fully powered. <sighs> I remember being completely souped up and shooting everything in sight. The game has many obstacles in every stage. Not only can you not touch the walls and everything gets pretty tight, but you have tentacles in the ceiling and floor non-destroyable meteors, super flames, volcanic rock, and of course, to beat the game? Well, those of us remember the precise flying around the closing barriers? Yeah, that's where the NES 30 Lives code came in handy. Every stage has an end boss and uh, that classic end boss music, <laughs> the stuff of legend. If fully powered, some bosses can be taken care of quite fast, but they're all pretty great. Bam! One hit and you're dead. In this version, there are predetermined places you begin when you die. This can make things harder than the arcade as you lose the power-ups but also start farther back. You can continue, but only up to three times. If you have a friend handy, you can play two players, the second player of which controls Lord British. It's quite fun playing with a friend, and if you lose, you get to start off at the same place you left off, much like the arcade. The colors are impressive, and the detail in enemies and terrain is great. Some multiplex scrolling is missing, but it is very faithful to the arcade counterpart bettering the NES version. A little flicker is apparent during boss battles, but it didn't seem to distract. Watch out though, they incorporated the seizure-inducing flashes from the arcade. Ah, yikes! Salamander has classic Konami music, which is saying a lot right there. It seems to incorporate a couple tunes also not found anywhere else, while keeping the ones we have grown to love intact. The PC Engine doesn't have as much punch but it does a really good job keeping the blood pumping as you play. Ah, the sound effects are pure old school shoot 'em up, and while they won't knock your socks off, they sound like this game. Does that make sense? The control is also pretty good. I never felt like my ship moved too slow or too clunky. The pad on the controller never made my thumb hurt while zooming around obstacles. It was all pretty simple, and all pretty smooth. Ah, the slowdown. The... Oh wait, that memory isn't a fond one. 
Well, it was in the arcade and pretty much every other version, so you kind of expect it. Sometimes it even helps. <laughs> if you're looking for a little punishment, you can select the expert mode and <laughs> ramp up the difficulty, making things even more challenging. Can I recommend Salamander? Well, keep in mind, it's a translation of a shooter from 1986, so it has that somewhat older feel. You have to learn this game, and there are no crutches. But to me, Salamander as a whole is very fun and addicting, and if you like this game, or you enjoyed the NES version, or even have some memories of the arcade versions, I think it's safe to say the PC Engine will not disappoint. <sighs> Salamander is extremely memory filled, mostly because of my immense play with the NES cartridge. The PC Engine version is a very faithful coin op conversion, and it truly does justice to a Konami classic. It's fun, it's challenging, and sometimes intense. If you like classic Konami, then picking up this one is a no-brainer. <laughs>